clearly running out of steam, Jason has to dig deep to keep going and keep his dinner down. I remember getting there and I'm thinking, oh, okay, this isn't going to be bad, you know, he's, he's getting ready for the Arnold Classic, he's tired, you know, we're, this is going to be short, we're going to be out of here. I think we must have been there for at least an hour between the cardio and the training, and then we stopped to eat, and then went back to train upper body. He definitely emphasized that, it, that there are workouts that are done in addition to your main workouts, so you don't, you don't want to use weights that are so heavy that it's like you're doing your main workouts twice. The focus wasn't so much on weight as much as the contractions and the intensity of the contractions. That's not to say you use five pounds and you know flex, but if five pounds is what you need to get the job done, then five pounds is what you need to get the job done. <laughs> All right, so, you like this. You like this. This is wrong. Uh, and you need what skills? Okay. You need some of them. So, even here. Why? Because with my pelvis here, I'm able to create a connection in my glute my hamstring and my calf if need be. This is posing. When you flex your upper body on stage, you're not just up here. It's everything from the floor up. Ready to get the Boston now? Like this? Yeah, you need a little wider. Quarter turns. Everything starting from the front, from the floor up. So you always take a minute, place your feet, turn your heels in, the toes out. That gives my knees also a place to turn out, which accentuates the sweep on the two quads. Inside of your calf. Open up, all right? Okay. So in order to make sure that you're able to contract all of the muscles that are visible um, for the viewing eyes of the judges, be it at the front, the side, the rear, um, you have a checklist and that checklist starts with the floor. So a lot of bodybuilders talk about tensing from the floor up. So your checklist is, okay, my feet up through your, your calves, up through your quads, up through the muscles of your upper quads. Are those things tense? Okay, from the floor up to your waist now in your checklist, are all those muscles tense as they're supposed to be? Yes, okay. And then you continue from your waist up. It does require a certain amount of endurance to stand there and flex a, a lot of different muscle groups in your body simultaneously at the same time and then maintain this expression that is, I am cool, I am good. Bend the knees, drop your pelvis, and pull. Right. You know, front of the bicep. Good shot. Lock spread. Chest. Here's 
tell you, you're going to open up your feet, flex your hamstring, flex your glute, and pull down from here. The same thing here. And this is like a lunge. One leg back, turn your knees out, flexion on your calf, hamstring, up to your glutes, and relax. Make sense? We get downstairs and we're like going through the training. I'm just like, why are we doing all these things back to back? And then as soon as we, as soon as you know the tops come off and the bottoms come off, and you're and we're we're practicing posing, it all makes sense. And when we're hitting poses, everything kind of just starts to click. I'm like, okay, that's why we did that exercise. That's why we did this exercise. That's why we did this exercise. And it's not until the end when everything kind of came together. That's when everything made sense. In order to sh try to be mindful of showing your sweep on your quads, you're going to turn your knees out, but you can't turn your knees out without trying to turn your feet out. But you can't turn your feet out without somewhat being aware of the ground beneath your feet. Okay, I want to be able to, to show the contour, a pleasing contour line around the entirety of my body. Um, so if you were to think about drawing a silhouette, taking a body, turning it into just a blackened image, and drawing a line around, a contour line around the, the silhouette. In order to create the image of this silhouette that corresponds with the idea that we know is competitive bodybuilding, then um, in order to do that, you have to position yourself well. In order to, positioning all starts with a good foundation, so everything has to start from the floor. Kai is something of a contradiction a reluctant teacher, yet with much to offer to the next generation of bodybuilders. I know that he certainly challenged and inspired this young bodybuilder today, both physically and mentally. However, his point about concentrating on winning the Arnold Classic is a good one. The show is only about a month away, and there is much work yet to be done. I will see Kai one more time before we go to Cleveland to shoot the leg training we didn't get last year in Vegas. I'm happy to see that Ty is healthy this time around, and as he is fond of saying, on the path of increase.